Hi and welcome to Watch and Work. Watch and Work is a series of service videos from ContiTech for automotive mechanics. My name is Stefan Meyer and in each video I'll show you a different vehicle engine. Let's see which one we're looking at today. Today I've got a Ford engine to show you. Here we have a 1.6 liter TDCI engine from a 2011 Ford Focus 3 with 85 kilowatts. The engine code is T1DA. The belt change interval is 140,000 kilometers or every 10 years for models up to July 2011 and every 180,000 kilometers or 10 years for models from August 2011 onwards. You'll need our CT1162 WP2 timing belt kit with water pump and the VO4 toolbox. As usual, we are using an engine that has been removed. Things will look a little different for you with the engine in the vehicle. You must first carry out some preparatory work by removing the starter motor, engine mounting, multi-V belt and tensioner. When you remove the starter motor, insert this tool in its place to lock the flywheel at the rear so that you can undo the belt pulley. You then remove the belt pulley and the engine mounting bracket before taking off the timing belt guard. Screw the crankshaft bolt back into place and set the timing with the help of three markings. We have one on the crankshaft pulley here at the bottom, one on the camshaft sprocket here at the top and one here next to the high pressure fuel pump. So we have three tools, two locking tools and a drill bit. The manufacturer's instructions specify a 5.5 mm drill bit for the fuel pump. Alternatively, a 5.5 mm locking pin would also work if you have one. Before you can take off the timing belt, you first have to remove the crankshaft sensor at the bottom and the timing belt guide at the side. Once this has been done, you can loosen the tensioner pulleys bolt, slacken, then remove the timing belt and replace the parts. When replacing the tensioner pulley, you need to fit it in a specific position. The tensioner pulley has a slot that hooks over this lobe on the engine. You can then fit the timing belt, starting at the camshaft sprocket and continuing in a clockwise direction until you finish at the fuel pump. To tension the timing belt, remove the locking pin from the tensioner pulley and insert a hex key into the eccentric cam to tighten it by turning counterclockwise until the pointer is in the middle of the slot, aligned with the lobe. Now tighten the tensioner pulley's bolt to 30 Newton meters, remove the locking tools and turn the engine over in its direction of rotation from the crankshaft. Recheck the timing and the tension. If the tension and timing are both fine, you can reassemble the engine in reverse order. Don't forget our seal of quality. Place our part replacement sticker in the engine compartment where it's clearly visible so that the customer sees you've installed quality.